All right, good morning. This is morning for me, 6.57 a.m., April 7th. I'm going to go over some examples here on division of decimals, okay? A couple of things I want to make sure that you understand, Boone, here are very important. Things to remember. Be neat. Do your best to be neat. Check if your answer makes sense. I'll go over some examples of what I mean by that. And be sure to remove or move the decimal point from the divider. And I'll explain that in a second here. So let's write down the first question here, our first uh, problem. And I'm going to try to do this and hold, the, hold this camera here. Okay, the first problem is like 19.51. One one divided by two point one. Okay, so that's the problem. Now you probably would see it in a test. Okay, first thing I do is I rewrite this problem, but let's do that first into the way I do my division and how you probably want to do your division. All right. So first of all, the number being divided or made into smaller pieces would be 19.5111 and it is divide, going to be divided into more, a little more than two pieces per se. Okay, two parts. So 2.1. Okay, that's just rewriting the problem. Same problem, rewritten in a way that's familiar. At least to me it is. Okay, uh, that's being neat. That's what I try to do. Okay, next thing is you try to remove the decimal point from the divider. The divider is this guy right here. Okay, the 2.1. You're dividing 19.5 by the divider. There's a decimal point there. You don't want the decimal point to be there anymore. You need to do something about it. What you do is you're going to move it to the right till it's gone from here. And the thing is, how many places you move it, you have to do the same thing to this guy. So 2.1, you got to move it one place over. Okay, if you do that, then you need to do the same thing from here and move it to there. Okay, so if we rewrite this, it'll be 21 there, and it'll be 19, but then it'll be 5, and then your decimal point there. So 195.111. Okay, all right, so. Next thing we do, we start the division here. Okay, oops, make this down here to the right side there. Move this back here. Move it. Okay, there we go. All right, sorry about that. Okay, first thing we want to do is the division here. Okay, so, okay, 10 looks so big because that's 210. Wouldn't work. Okay, make sure you line this up right there above here. So 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. Okay, you're going to do subtraction here, just like you normally do for division with regular numbers without, the, without decimals. Okay, so starting here where you started, this is all zeros. If you want to just bring this down, we'll do that in a second. 15, you do a, uh, a borrow from here. 15 minus 9 is a 6. That's an 8 now, so it's all zero there. So 6, now you carry down the 1 from here. Okay. Next thing is make sure the decimal point goes up on your answer there, okay? So you're going to bring this guy down, okay? So next thing you have here is 61 and 21. Well, 3 times 2, 21 is 63. It's a little too big, so it has to be 2, all right? So 2 times 21 is 42, or 2 times, two times 1 is 2, 2 times 4 is 4. All right, I'll try to keep this easy to see. Sorry if it's blurry. And uh, do the subtraction. 11 minus 2 is 9. 19. Bring the other one down here to here. And you have 191 there. Okay. Wow, pretty big number. Okay, well, as we saw up here, 9 times 21 is 189. That's pretty close there, so let's, let's just reuse what we had there. 189. Okay, move this down again. Sorry with the camera. And this goes to be a 2. That's 0. 
bring this one down. 21. Wow, this is nice. 21 divided by 21. One time. 21. Zero. Here's your answer. So, right in the end here, it's 9.291. Okay. Now, going back to what I said before, check if your answer makes sense. Okay. The way to do this is you're, you're just going to get an estimate to see if you if you if you can estimate the answer and it looks close to what you you have for your final answer. You probably got it right unless you made a, few, a little teeny mistake here or two. Okay, this is your uh, check answer type of thing. Okay, what I'm going to do is say 19.5. Let's make that 20. Okay, it's a 19 and a half, a little more 19 and a half will make it 20, just for this example. That's the same as 20 divided by 2. Well, you probably know that right away. That's going to give you 10. Okay, is 9.21 around 10, near 10? Well, yeah. It isn't like you got the answer of 90 here, or 92.9, and the answer should be around 10, which is not close. So this is close. So this makes sense also. So you remove the decimal points, rewrote the problem, and you checked your answer. And the answer makes sense. So that's a good thing. So let's go ahead and stop this one for here.